Good morning, everybody. It's like really early. I guess not so early. I'm not like 7, 7.30. The sun is coming up right now and I brought my tea out to the front porch because everybody else inside is still asleep. Yeah, I know, I'm drinking out of a paper cup. It's because Passover starts soon and the kitchen is kosher for Passover and my teacups are not kosher for Passover. I did, however, order a new teacup. It should be here later today because this, this is not working for me. I'm becoming a tea snob, you guys. Okay, anyways, today that I'm filming is Friday and we're going into Shabbat tonight, but not just going into Shabbat, we're going into Shabbat and Passover. So Passover starts Saturday night. And so we've got two days of Shabbat-like time. We call this a three-day Yom Tov because we've got Shabbat and then holiday and then holiday. So that's three days of no driving, no TV and stuff like that. There are a few differences, which I've addressed in previous videos. If you're interested, I'll link some of those up in the corner. Maybe that corner, one of the corners. Anyways, I'm pretty much done with my prep stuff for all of this. Uh, my sister-in-law is in town with her kids. My brother-in-law is coming to town later today. So my sister-in-law and my husband were up super late last night cooking. There's so much food, it's amazing. And I cleaned up a little bit this morning, but it was mostly done, which was super fantastic. So today I'm planning on taking you guys out to the kosher grocery store and to the Kaylee mikvah, the dish mikvah, so that I can um, kosher some new dishes that I picked up at Ikea yesterday that we need for the holiday. And... I don't know what else, <laughs> but we've got those things going on for sure. And we'll just see what else happens as always. All right, so thanks so much. And I'm gonna sit here and drink my tea and then we will get this day started. Okay, so we're in the car. I'm here with my daughter and we are heading out to the Kaleem Mikvah. Kaleem is like a vessel, so the, the Mikvah for dishes. And then we're gonna head to the grocery store. Okay, and I think I did not introduce myself this morning. Hi, <laughs> my name is Hannah. This is Jar of Fireflies. And here you will find videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of three. If that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you here again. We're here. This is the closest local mikvah to me. Okay, so the process of using the Kaylee mikvah is pretty simple. I've done this before in a previous video, but it's been a while, so we'll do it again. Okay, so I dip my hand in the water so it's wet, then I grab one of the items that I need to tovel, that is to immerse, and then I say this blessing, and then I go ahead and just dip that item in the water. And that's it. After that, I can just grab any items, and without future blessings, I can just dip them all in the water. 
Okay, so what kind of items do we need to immerse in the mikvah? Those are any vessel made of metal or glass that is going to come into contact with prepared food. And why do we do this? Okay, so the Jewish table is likened to an altar and its holiness is compared to that of the holy temple, the Beit HaMikdash. So before any dishes or utensils can be used in our kitchens and they're on our tables, we acquire this additional measure of holiness, which is conferred through the ritual immersion in a pool of naturally gathered water or the mikvah. So I could go and use a lake or a river or the ocean or something like that, but it's much easier to just come to a mikvah because I don't live near the ocean or a river or a lake or anything like that. And so Jewish communities throughout the world build a mikvah, and which is a specially constructed ritual pool, which is connected to a source of pure rainwater. There is our mikvah again after it's closed and I'm finished and ready to head out. Okay, the dishes are finished. They're in the back of the car now, and let's head over to the grocery store. All right, so the grocery store was just a few minutes away from the dish mikvah. So uh, once we got there, I stopped by the bakery and got my daughter this cute donut with pink icing and sprinkles which totally made her day and then we went to the back of the store where they had all of the Passover food set up. This is pretty much what was left. Uh, still plenty left. I was able to get everything that I needed except one item which I was able to get from a friend so that was awesome and basically I just got a bunch of snack food and fun food for the holiday just to make things a little extra special with the ages of my kids having something like fruit snacks and cakes and chocolate yogurt like those are the things that is going to make it really special for them because those are not things that we normally eat all year long so i was mostly grabbing you know treats for the kids like cookies and things like that because of passover there's also a lot of kosher gluten-free products so that is really fantastic and i got some things like yogurt for me because those are things that make me happy there's also a lot more variety in general in the kosher products that are available for us because we live in a part of the country that does not have a whole lot of Jews. It's not like a massive Jewish community the way there is in New York or Los Angeles or Miami. So, you know, here in Texas, we still have large communities, but they're just we just don't have those food items that those other really large communities have available to them. I opted for the self-checkout because that is always my favorite and my daughter took the camera and she wanted to do some filming so I let her film this part so. <laughs> she got the absolute biggest kick out of being able to do some filming for Ema's YouTube channel. <laughs> of course I got a kick out of her getting a kick out of filming. All right, once we got everything paid for, we went out, loaded up the car, and we're ready to move on with our day. Okay, grocery shopping done. I spent, <laughs> I spent over $200 on mostly snacks. Okay, but in my defense, I was also stocking up on things like gluten-free seasoned breadcrumbs, which are only really available here once a year. So I stocked up on those to last us through the year and that was a big chunk of the money. And then just everything for Passover is so much more expensive than the rest of the year. It's just the way it is. Kosher food in general is a lot more expensive, but especially at Passover, like it gets marked up even more, but that's okay. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna head home now, unpack all these groceries and see what happens next. Why are you laughing at me? Is that filming? Oh, it's filming. Oh, no, now I am. Okay, hey. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so it is, what time is it? 1.23. I'm in my husband's truck. He's got military time in here. And I don't know that. I have to like, that's too much math right now. Okay, so it's about 1.30 and I've gotten pretty much everything that I need to get done, done. I put the groceries away. I went outside and mowed the yard. I got some food for the kids. My sister-in-law is still cooking at home. She's baking a bunch of cakes right now. It smells so good in there. And I'm just kind of starting to pick things up off the table to get ready for that. Uh, my brother-in-law arrived. My husband went and picked him up from the airport, so they are all back. And we just went and picked up some wine from the store down the street. 
And now we're headed back home so that we can do the burning of the hummus. It was really nice to get out for a few minutes with just my husband, even though it was a very quick errand, but uh, we haven't been on a date in a while, so it was nice to just get out the two of us. But anyhow, we got home and I went ahead and went out to the backyard and I made a fire for the burning of the chametz. I have to say it was a really good fire. I'm getting a lot of practice lately with all of our camping trips. <laughs> הרני מוכן ומזומן לקרם מזוות ביעור חמץ בשריפה לשרפו ביום 14 לחודש ניסן כדי לעשות נחת רוח להיות צרנו לעשות רצון בוראינו והנו המדונה אלוהינו עלינו ומעשה ידינו כוננה עלינו ומעשה ידינו כוננהו והנו המדונה אלוהינו עלינו ומעשה ידינו כוננה עלינו ומעשה ידינו כוננהו so what we are burning is the bread that we had purchased for the search for hummus, which we had done the night before, as well as the bread that we found during the search for hummus. So this is all bread that we did not sell. So it's bread that we still own. So we are burning it so that it is basically rendered unedible. The kids enjoyed getting involved by helping toss pieces of bread in and then watching it get toastier and toastier. All right, now it's time to get the table set. Do you guys notice anything different about my table? Yes, it is much, much bigger. We took our existing table and my husband built a massive new tabletop on it. So we basically can comfortably seat 14 now and I am thrilled by this. So without having to buy a new table, we now basically have a new table. Of course, we will probably actually buy chairs for this because the chairs we have are falling apart and we don't have enough. As you can see, they're a bit mismatched. I did go to the fabric store yesterday and I picked up some extra wide fabric and was able to make a huge tablecloth for this table and since I only have one tablecloth though we are covering that tablecloth in plastic definitely not my favorite thing to do I don't like the disposable stuff but I am using some for Passover and again since this is my only tablecloth I need to keep it clean it was kind of funny at the store when I was in the quilt shop to get this fabric they you know I said I need five and a half yards of this fabric and they were like how much are you sure this is a lot of fabric it's really wide and I was like no really I'm making a tablecloth they looked at me like I had three heads but um yeah it worked out <laughs> the tablecloth itself is lovely and I'm quite happy with it Okay, so while I did set the table with real plates, glass plates, and actual metal utensils, I am using paper napkins for this holiday with all the people that we will have at our meals because our family brings us up to 10. That's just, you know, six meals and 10 people. I don't even know if I have that many cloth napkins. I doubt it. And even if I did, that's just a lot of extra laundry and I'd rather spend my holiday spending time with family and not doing laundry all the time. It felt so good to set this big table for so many people. I feel like my family would have been so small on this giant table all by ourselves. And I do love to have guests, so there's that. We did not kosher any of our kiddish cups. If you watch any of my other Shabbat prep videos, you know my kids all have their own special cups for Shabbat. So those are all put away in the pantry for now, and we're just using regular glasses. While I was setting the table, my husband had been off at the store picking up just a few extra things that he forgot and, of course, buying flowers. So I am just putting those flowers quickly in a vase so that I can add those to the table as well. It's so funny though, now with this huge table, the flowers seem so much smaller out there, <laughs> but that's okay. They're still beautiful. My husband is there at the table, by the way, practicing reading the Parsha because he will be reading the Parsha at services tomorrow. Well, nearly no sooner than I had set the table, I had to go back and unset it and reset it with all disposable. Okay, we are still eating bread at our meal tonight and tomorrow morning, and then like hametz bread, and then we'll move on to matzah tomorrow night. So in the meantime, I cannot use all of my kosher for Passover plates and utensils and things like that. We have to use entirely disposable stuff tonight and tomorrow morning. Not my favorite, but it is what it is. So that's what we are doing. Okay, so my husband ran off to the store again to go buy some more paper plates uh, and also some 
disposable bowls because we were completely out of those. Like all the food has to be served on the table in something disposable. <sighs> okay, deep breath, it's gonna be fine. All right, just a little snag in my plans, I suppose. Not a big deal, but this way, all of my kosher for Passover plates will remain kosher for Passover as we enter Passover. All right, and with that, we're ready. Shabbat starts here in about 10 minutes and we've gotten everything all set. The food is ready to be served. The table is set. The laundry is as done as it's going to be. I'm not finished, but am I ever? And I went out and I watered the plants in my garden and the flowers out front. So, and put bird seed in the bird feeder. So we should be good because now we're going into the three day Yom Tov. All right, thank you all so much for watching. As always, I super appreciate it. Please hit that like button if you haven't already. It lets me know what kinds of videos that you all enjoy and it helps my channel out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell so that you get all of your notifications and you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, thanks so much again for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload.